We are now less than one week away before the Treasury Department's June 1st deadline for the debt ceiling. If Congress and the President cannot reach an agreement before then, well, that could mean we could go through a recession and millions of jobs could be lost. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp reports. The debt ceiling, which is the amount of money the government can borrow to pay its bills like Medicare, Social Security, military salaries, and other obligations, is Washington's talk of the town. The Republican Party has put forward a plan saying, yes, you know what, we can raise the debt ceiling, but we're going to have to cut spending somewhere in the future. We've got to take a look at this. Pennsylvania Congressman Mike Kelly says Republicans passed a bill addressing the debt ceiling last month and accuses the president of dragging this task up to the last minute urging him to reduce the amount we're spending. We offered an additional uh, um, cut to the spending of $1 trillion on top of the $3 trillion that we mentioned uh, in our budget, the president's budget on March, not March 9th, and on top of what we've been able to do the, the, the first two years. The Treasury Department says the government has until June 1st before the U.S. defaults, which would be an economic catastrophe. But Representative Kelly is questioning that June 1st deadline. I think the, the deadline could be anything that Ms. Yelm would like it to be. I don't know that June 1st is the, 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 the drop dead date. I do know this. I do know this. We've put out a spending plan to him. A growing number of Republicans are starting to doubt that June 1st is the actual deadline Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is stating. Kelly says if it's really that date. Work, work harder, work longer, work smarter. Don't just keep putting it off and say, oh, it's the other side's fault. We put a spending plan in front of the president of the United States right now, and he says there's nothing in there that I can address and has just wandered all over the world doing other things. If it was really a priority, why wasn't it his priority? He's, a, he's the CEO of the country. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting.